Hey guys, thanks for coming. I'm very excited to introduce you to retirement financing. So many of us never stop to think about retirement, let alone know how to finance it. I'm sure you will be enlightened with this presentation and I'll check back with you at the end of it. Enjoy. Thanks for coming and welcome to our retirement financing webinar. My name is Mackenzie. I'm extremely passionate about what I'm going to discuss here today. But first, if you can, pull out your checkbook and write yourself a check. This should be for an entire year's spending, like from January to December. Take your time and think about how much your check is going to be for. Ask yourself how much money do you make annually? How much do you pay in taxes at the end of the year? And how much do you spend for your day-to-day -day life? I'm going to show you how to make that check tax-free later in this webinar. We really appreciate you taking the time. If you're here, it's hopefully because you're curious and you want to know how exactly do I create a tax-free income. You've probably been hearing a lot about tax-free income lately. We have two goals in this webinar. Our first is to clarify the differences between taxed versus tax-free income and how much it makes a difference in actual spending money. I'd like to take a second to say that we won't be discussing how much real estate you own, nor how many stocks or bonds you will have in your portfolio when you retire. This is not a net worth question. This webinar is all about liquidity. Financing your retirement works much like the purchase of a home in that it appreciates in value over time. Financing your retirement appreciates into tax-free income for life. Second, we're going to extend an invitation to do a complimentary one-on-one -on -one session where you can get a fully customized plan to maximize the amount of cash and liquidity you have at retirement. At the end of this webinar, you'll get all the details on how you can request your one-on-one -on -one session. By the way, this is not a brand new idea. Back in the 80s, doctors used their accounts receivables as collateral to buy large premium life insurance policies in order to build enormous retirement plans. Our concept of financing one's retirement was designed by Leonard Quimby, who then created a fully stress-tested, proprietary-based platform. At that time, this was only available for the very wealthy, but Leonard met with the CEOs of banks and insurance companies and they made that platform available to more people while providing security and protection for all involved. This concept is now being implemented frequently in retirement strategies, and for the right person, this will accelerate a retirement plan in a way that we've never seen any other financial product accomplish, tax-free. We're going to go into detail about how this strategy works, and, if you qualify, this is like putting your retirement on steroids without greatly increasing risk. When people are asked about retirement and living in their later years, and by the way, people are living much longer, we now have more people over 100 than ever before. Commonly successful people say, I'll be fine because I'll own a lot of real estate, or I'll sell my business, or my stock portfolio will be huge. Most people feel they will be better off tomorrow than they are today. Well, there's always that hope. But what wealthy people do is they pay a lot of attention to how their money is taxed. In fact, that's exactly what we're going to go over today. You will be offered your one-on-one -on -one session at the end, and a customized plan can be designed specifically for you after it is determined if you might qualify. But first, we're going to give you a high-level overview of why people use life insurance as part of their wealth-building strategy. An IUL is simply an Index Universal Life Insurance. It is a wealth-building financial product. When designed properly, it does nothing else but build financial wealth. We'll get into what a properly designed IUL is shortly in our Goldilocks story. How is IUL a wealth-building financial product? You might think it funny, but an IUL is similar to baking bread. Bread is made of dough, forgive the pun, and dough, in order to grow in size, needs two things, time and yeast. IULs are similar. They also need time and interest to grow in size. The S&P 500 or other market indices are often used to accomplish this. There's really no mystery as to how wealthy families build more wealth through succeeding generations. 
The very wealthy use their death to advance their family's wealth for generations to come by leaving large tax-free death benefits to their heirs. We often get asked if buying term life insurance is better than buying permanent life insurance. And the answer is, it depends on your goals. Say your premium is $1,000 annually, and if $950 of your premium goes toward the actual cost of insurance, then there's only $50 remaining that can go to the market to earn interest. Doesn't that start to sound like a term policy that earns no interest at all? With so little leftover premium earning interest, that's almost a term policy where all your premium goes towards the cost of insurance. Then, as you get older, term becomes unaffordable. Remember, buying life insurance greatly depends on your goals. Our goal here is to create tax-free income. So this kind of IUL is not a good one for us to use. And I'll show you why. Insurance companies pay out only about 2% of the time on term policies because people don't die during the term period that they purchase or they lapse their policies. There's a lot of misinformation online about IULs and many people think term is a better option. But we think that this story about Goldilocks will help clarify why IULs fail to meet some people's performance expectations. So at first, Goldilocks puts too little premium into her policy. That means as Goldilocks gets older, the cost of her insurance will go up and it will keep requiring more premium to keep her policy or it will end up like a term policy. Then Goldilocks puts in too much money into her IUL, especially if her purpose was to create tax-free income. If you put too much money in your IUL too quickly, it invites Uncle Sam to enjoy some of your earnings with you. It becomes taxable. In the case of building a financial legacy for your family, this won't matter because it won't be taxed when you die. Your heirs receive a tax-free inheritance. However, for income to use while you're alive, that's no good. We need just the right amount of money going in under the IRS guidelines. The IRS determines how much you can put into your IUL without having to share your earnings with them. We designed Goldilocks IUL just right by putting in as much premium as we can under the IRS guidelines, so it provides a tax-free distribution for her to use at retirement for life. Here are the nuts and bolts of creating tax-free income using an IUL. If you have a death benefit of $500,000 and an annual premium of $1,000 and your cost of insurance is $950, then only $50 will be left over to go towards growth, like in the S&P 500. Remember that if all your premium is going towards the cost of insurance, not much is left over growing in the market. This is not important unless you want income. What if we flip this? Instead of a high death benefit of $500,000, we buy the lowest possible death benefit, like $50,000. But we still put the same amount of money into the policy as if it were $500,000. The COI, or cost of insurance, is going to be minimal because we're only purchasing $50,000 in actual death benefit, then the rest goes towards growth. Now can you see how the cash value would grow substantially? Now we have a properly designed IUL for tax-free income. Let me show you in detail with these examples. Here are three examples of how IUL can work for tax-free income. We have three businesswomen, all the same age. Each have the same $300,000 to invest in their retirement plan. But each choose a different financial opportunity, resulting in three completely different tax-free incomes. First, we have Audrey. Audrey is going to pay for her IUL monthly, $1,000 a month for 25 years. Why 25 years? Because that's when she will retire at age 65. The math is easy. $1,000 monthly for 25 years equals $300,000. What's her income when she retires? Almost $60,000 annually for life, tax-free. Next, we have Betty. Betty can't be bothered to add another monthly bill to her many monthly bills. She asks us, hey, can I pay this off sooner? We say, how about in 10 years? She says, great, how much? $30,000 a year for 10 years, the same $300,000 amount. Let's take a look at her retirement at age 65. Her distribution is $30,000 more than Audrey's. 
she'll get a large check for $90,000 annually. Will it be tax-free? Of course it will, and for the rest of her life. Chris listened to a well-informed advisor. She decided to pay her policy, but like Betty, over 10 years. You can see in the loaned premium column in the middle, she made a commercial bank loan borrowing $100,000 annually and added that to her premium of $30,000 for the 10 full years. So the IUL received a total of $130,000 for 10 years. In years 11 and 12, she pays back her loan with interest using some of the earnings of her policy. It's similar to when the bank lends you money to purchase your home. But when Chris turns 65, her income is a whopping $160,000 tax-free dollars annually and for the rest of her life. That's almost $100,000 more than our first businesswoman, Audrey. This is what is called leverage life insurance. That's the power of financial knowledge and leverage. Let's do a quick review. As you can see by these illustrations, each woman put in the same amount into their IUL, but each received a very different income. Leveraged life insurance is where you use your net worth to build more capital. A loan from the bank turbocharges the distribution at retirement. We have an interesting way of how the Baxter family applied retirement financing to their business. The father was uninsurable, so he bought two policies, one on each of his sons who happened to work at their family's small business. He went the same route as Chris did in our previous example and used leverage. Their father pays into his son's life insurance. Only being in their 30s, they have a lower insurance rate. He also reports their policy's payments as income, lower tax rates, and the corporation can deduct these premiums on the boys' policies as employee benefits, lower corporate tax. Interesting point here is that the father remains the owner of these policies. This means he can take out the income when he wants to, and when he dies, the income continues because it is on his son's lives, not his life. Finally, due to the fact that his children were so young, they had time on their side, and therefore their IUL's expected distribution at age 65 is $220,000 annually for life, tax-free. Back in the 80s, doctors would put their accounts receivables as collateral, but today you can use annuities, real estate, or even T-bills or other life insurance, financial leveraging in the true sense of the word. Let's jump to Retirement Planning 101. There are qualified plans and non-qualified plans. The most important thing you need to remember is, if you deduct money from your income to put into a retirement plan, you're deferring taxes, not avoiding them. These are qualified plans. Not all money gets treated the same. How your money gets taxed makes a huge difference when you go to spend it. Depending on your tax bracket, $100,000 might only equal more to $65,000 in actual spending money. $1 million in your 401k is not the same as $1 million of cash value in your life insurance. In both cases, you're worth $1 million, but your 401k might only equate to $600,000 spendable cash. As a matter of fact, when it comes to collateral for a bank loan, a dollar from your cash value and a life insurance policy is worth more to a bank than a dollar from your 401k. And why is that? We don't know how much you will be taxed when you take the distribution of your 401k. Tax rates change from decade to decade. We like to ask top-tier earners what they think were the highest tax rates the U.S. has ever seen. People are often shocked to learn that, once upon a time, for the top-tier earner, for every dollar earned, 91% went to pay taxes. We are currently at some of the lowest tax rates, but who knows what it will be when you retire with your 401k and pension plans. Anyone ever heard about this man? Ed Slott, America's IRA expert and a certified public accountant. He speaks on national television and radio, and he's a huge proponent of using IUL for wealth accumulation. And here's why. IULs are a good way to hedge your retirement plans. They can sit alongside your portfolio of investments, offering a smooth sale. When the market goes down, life insurance will hold on to your gains and sit on the sidelines. If you owned an IUL in 2008, it would have lost none of its earnings. That's what we call the power of zero. 
IULs can be designed with two different purposes in mind, tax-free income or tax-free inheritance. Remember the doctors in the 80s created enormous retirement plans, and so can you. Today, however, there are limits as to how much money can be put into an IUL to grow tax-free. We are mandated by both the insurance companies and the Department of Insurance to stress test all our illustrations. What does this mean to you? It means we cannot exaggerate income figures. It means there is a high probability that the income figures you will receive in your personal illustrations are underestimated. So let's get started. Oh, by the way, remember the Baxter family? One of his sons suffered a heart attack at age 36. They put in a stent and he suffered no damage to his heart, but he is now uninsurable just like his father. This is what we mean by qualifying. You'll need to take an exam and from there we can make a final decision about moving forward. Here's the next step. Schedule a time to meet with your advisor or broker. This type of meeting lasts for about 30 minutes. It can be over the phone or online with you sitting behind your computer. This way we can design a customized illustration to see if it is a good fit. As long as you qualify, this is a strategy that can make a tremendous difference for you, to your net worth and in your retirement goals. Here is our website info, and here is the link for you to go and request our one-on-one -on -one meeting. You'll be asked, how do you prefer to do our meeting? By the way, have your retirement check written out to yourself like discussed in the beginning. Like discussed in the beginning, we're going to make future checks tax-free. Thank you again for attending this meeting today. I hope you found that interesting, and I look forward to hearing from you. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day.